JP Bouvet here with my band Childish Japes. We've got Asher Kurtz on guitar, Jed Lingat on bass. We're here at Drumio, and we've just filmed a bunch of, of great videos for both their drum educational site as well as their new guitarlessons.com site. So it's been a productive couple days. And in this video, I want to share with you an, a concept that helps us push our creative boundaries a lot because this band writes a lot. Um, we jam a lot in our writing sessions and we're trying to always think of new ways, especially as a trio, to, to give things a unique twist and fill up a lot of sound with just three people. So this is one method that we've found has been extremely helpful. So the idea is establishing and changing roles in the band because there are sort of standard roles that the drummer tends to play and that the bass player tends to play and that the guitar player tends to play. Those roles are important, especially when we start learning the instrument, because we need to have some sort of framework to work within as we start to develop our coordination. Um, but what I'm talking about, let's just run through a, a handful of these sort of basic rules, and then what we're going to do is break pretty much all of them, and we're going to take a fairly, you know, fairly boring, common groove as a, as a trio and turn it into something that, that we think is quite interesting. So let's start with the drums. Typically we've got the hi-hat, the right hand playing time and just keeping the metronome. We got the back beat on two and four with the left hand and then we've got the kick drum playing whatever the pattern is that one of those guys is playing. So that's kind of the standard thing with the drum set. With the bass, they get kind of locked into uh, playing the roots and playing the same rhythms that the guitar player plays if, if, if he brought uh, an idea to the table. And then usually Mr. Guitar is handling the chords or the melody uh, of, of whatever's going on. So first we're going to play an example that follows all those rules. So Jed's going to play the, 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 the bass line, the, the roots, Ash will handle the melody, and I'm going to follow all the standard groove rules of right hand metronome, left hand backbeat, kick drum plays along with Jed. And let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with the groove you just played, uh, especially if you're a beginner drummer or instrumentalist, that might be the extent of your coordination and that's fine. You know, you're working on your groove and you're working on pushing things a little bit at a time. But what we want to do now as a band is, is switch up the roles here and, and change things up in a way that is, is much more uncommon and it's going to accidentally result in some pretty interesting, an interesting different take on that same uh, melody and chords that we were just playing. So between us, Jed's going to handle the chords and melody, which is typically what a guitar player might typically do. Asher's going to essentially become a percussion instrument. And I'm going to play, I, I can't play the bass here because I only have two notes that are probably out of tune, but I'm going to handle lower frequencies here, and I'm going to sort of set a rhythmic foundation that a bass player might typically have the role of doing. So why don't, we, why don't we play each part individually and then we'll put it all together and we'll see how it sounds together. Sure. So Jed, what are you playing? <laughs> So yeah, I mean, that's super percussive, even when you think about the various hand percussions that you can change pitch of by squeezing the, the strings or whatever. Um, that's, that's a very percussion-ish type of guitar part. And the groove that I'm going to end up playing is... So for me, the left hand's still playing the backbeat, that's still playing a traditional role, but my right hand now, instead of being a timekeeper, which no one needs because Azure's kind of serving that purpose, 
I'm just playing an interesting rhythm that's going to serve as the foundation of this groove in the low end. I can't change notes, really, but I can fill in the low end, which Jed would typically have that job of. So let's put it all together. So as you can see, just us, us redefining those roles and trading roles a little bit forces us to think in a more creative way. It's going to push you out of your comfort zone and out of your box. And I think that's pretty much always a good thing if you're trying to be creative. So my challenge for you is if you're playing with a band, if you have an opportunity to jam with even one friend who plays a different instrument, um, and if you don't, even playing along to music, Right? Because if you're listening to music and they already have a drum part in the song, that gives you kind of free reign to think of a new creative part and push yourself out of that typical drummer zone and say, okay, what if I think of a melodic thing? Or what if I you know, do what a percussion player might do? Or do what a bass player might do? So my challenge for you is to, in whatever setting you can, try to change up the roles, not only within the drum set, but with your, your bandmates or your jam mates, and see what comes from it. And that song that we just played there is actually from our first album. The song is called Gorbas, and uh, the album is called After You're Born. So if you want to find that Childish Japes album, it's everywhere on Spotify, iTunes. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere you find people and things. And a uh, huge thanks to Drumeo for having us here. We've had an awesome time, and thank you for watching. See you soon.